Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name's Aketch. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support, guys. It really does mean a lot. In today's video, I've actually got a special guest. You guys are familiar with this special guest. I actually had quite a lot of good reviews on my previous video when I had my mom featured. So I thought it'd be quite fitting to bring her back considering it's Mother's Day tomorrow. So yeah, I've got my mom back in today's video. Do you want to say hi? Hi everyone. <laughs> So guys, because it's Mother's Day tomorrow, I'm taking my mum out for dinner tonight and I'm actually going to do her makeup while I ask her a few questions. Some of these questions are from Instagram. I put an Instagram questionnaire up and asked you guys what you'd like me to ask my mum and others I've just thrown together. So I'm going to do her makeup while I ask her a few questions and let you guys get to know her a bit more. Let's get into the video. Wow, she want to make her best friend look beautiful today. I do. Yeah. I'm excited to see the before. I've taken some pictures from before and I'll put them now. I'll tag them up now and then we'll take a few pictures of after show you guys how she looks after but I've already done the eyebrows guys off camera because we all know how much of a hassle doing eyebrows is like so we're just gonna go with base and then continue it but let's start how do you call it eyebrow mm -hmm. or eyebrow I don't know <laughs> I cannot tell I never know I cannot tell is that meat is that milk is that G I cannot tell. <laughs> I cannot say. Eyebrows. Eyebrows. Eyebrows on fleek. Eyebrow. Eyebrows. Eyebrows. There we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Eyebrows on fleek. Alright, we're going to get into the questions while I start your makeup. Do you want me to use this foundation? Or this one? Uh, I reckon this one. This one? Cool. Yeah, nice. Because it's right. darker. Mm -hmm. For the first question, what's your name? My name is Teresa Toniyama Timachuk. Let's go. And what country were you born in? I was born in Sudan. Cool, okay. And what's your tribe? My tribe, I'm from Dinkabor. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And then if you get in a bit more? Uh-huh, from Dinkabor and then I'm from Tweet. Uh-huh. So from Tweet, I am from Aulian. Let's go. My baby. We've got a your special guest. I guys. got my baby here. I believe you want to be in the video. Baby, good girl. <laughs> this is my last born. You see, I was me. <laughs> I love you, baby. You want to join us? Mommy, love you. Mommy, you love you. Makeup. Oh yeah, mommy, love you. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, mommy love you. Commercial break. She's choking me. Come All on, right, come on. Come Off on. you go. <laughs> go. Awesome. Okay, cool. Um, next question is, what's your favorite memory from back home? Oh, my favorite memory, I like, uh, do you know the, um, how do you call it with English? <laughs> I don't know. English is a struggle, even me sometimes I can't even remember yeah, some This words. language is so hard, people. It's <laughs> my second language. English is not my first language. Yeah, so, yeah. it's something calling Bill. So if, okay. it's, if it's Arabic, it's, um, isn't that mm -hmm. um, sugar cane? Yeah, yeah, sugar cane from the special farmers in our country is really so nice. And guys, for those of you who are either born back home or you visited back home, the fruit and the food from back home, the way it tastes comparison to here, oh my gosh, I can't even comp I can't compare. Like, yeah, I just miss uh, sugar cane back home. Mm -hmm. So when I go, I'm thinking to go back. Maybe if it's God will next year. Yeah during the palmes so i can go there and try my sugar cane sugar cane yeah oh. i need to get that energy back i feel you i feel like i miss my energy all now i think it's the food the food has to be my favorite thing from back home it's so fresh there's no preservatives the soil is just so mm, so everything tastes so good in comparison to here even the banana Ooh, when i went back in 2012 and tasted the bananas mm -mm. it was so nice in comparison to here but okay, sugar cane is one of your, eating sugar cane is one of your favorite memories. Yeah, that, right? I just sat down and then when my tummy full with the sugar cane, I have to go to wee in the toilet <laughs> and come back and sit down and try them again. Oh, so okay. I never eat food. I like them. Awesome. Yeah. So for the next question, what age was your first boyfriend? My age was my first boyfriend? What are you talking about? We don't have boyfriend in our home back. Period. 
When I was a young girl, like you would not have something calling boyfriend. Okay, so what was that like? How, what was the dating scene like back then? The home? dating when I was a young girl like you, oh mm -hmm. my god, you know, in the front yard, mm -hmm. like in my front of my backyard, mm -hmm. many, many, many guys can come one day, period. They're just standing. One guy can come maybe with his brothers and yeah. friends, mm -hmm. six of them or eight of them. Yeah. They will standing by group by group. Mm -hmm. And me with my my mate as well, mm -hmm. my age mate. Yeah. We are there, mm -hmm. many of us, not just only me. Mm -hmm. So I will let one girl mm -hmm. for the group they having dating that day. Yeah. I will say, go and bring that group. And the group they don't have the day, mm -hmm. they have to go back until they're having the all day. Mm -hmm. So they have to have, we have to book them. Ah. Yeah. And then we all set like a girl and then they met mm -hmm. and we talk. Nice. And then when they're talking, finish, they go. That's it. Guys, if you've watched Bridgerton, it's similar to that. Courting back then, back home, was quite like similar to Bridgerton if you've seen that video so the guys would come like mama's explained mm -hmm. and you kind of get to know people that's how you used to date so you wouldn't just talk to one specific person you talk to a group and you'll have your girls there and the guys would be there with their guys mm -hmm. and that's how you got to know each other we all of us we have chat you have a chat yeah well, one of my girl which is the close my best friend mm -hmm. She will have a chat with the man, the one that dating me. Oh. And then I will have a chat with the friends coming with the man, the one that dating me. Okay. And then if I say no, mm -hmm. I have to say no. You don't, if I you don't, don't accept, like it? If I don't accept them. What would, be, what would be something that would make you say no to that one? So how could you tell back then? What was the way for you to tell which man was a good man and which man was like, mm, not Yeah, so because good. when they're coming all of them for dating, mm -hmm. You, you you give them all separate day yeah and then from that you sit down with the girls mm -hmm. and then you see their personality mm -hmm. and the way they talk yeah and and you know also the family mm -hmm. the background of yeah. the guy where they're coming from what where they, come, they are yeah and what kind of family they come family from. yeah is it their good family, family or yeah. they're having background mm -hmm. which is not good mm -hmm. so we can say no we don't need that man okay. and we can start because you have to know the the guy family, it's not like here, just we're going for dating in McDonald's <laughs> or you're going KFC. We don't have kind of dating like that. Yeah. So the men have to come home. Your family have to know them. Yeah. Your partner have to know them and your partner will say, yes, we know that guy. Mm. Their family, they are good families. Mm. And then this guy, the families that are not good because of this, they have to explain it to you. Yeah. What the reasons are. What is the reason they yeah. are. Yeah. But you guys here, I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. Do you know what? I, that's one thing I should probably, I, I definitely do agree with. I think it's important to like tell your parents about who you're dating or who you're seeing. Because also these days, we don't know much about tribes or asking, you know, your mother, what, like the person you're talking to. That might even be your cousin. You don't even know. That's right. Maybe you, your brothers. You know, in our country, mm -hmm. we married a lot of women. Yeah. So you never know. Maybe your cousin, maybe mm -hmm. your auntie, son, maybe yeah. your wherever you don't know and you're just in these streets just dating sambala sambala you, you dating sambala for years <laughs> even you don't know and then in and the then end you when they're coming out. your parents say oh look my daughter sorry this mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. we having we, we really relationship, we, re yeah. relationship yeah. with yeah. them mm -hmm. so they can't marry you yeah so that's why i'm teaching you my daughter mm -hmm. a bit of my kasha as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. you need to have knowledge of that so important and, and i appreciating that Wherever man is dating you, you say, Mom, look, this man, mm -hmm. he's dating me. Mm -hmm. And you bring them home here. Mm -hmm. So I'm so happy to see them. That's I'm it. Happy. It's so important, guys. Like, be more transparent with your parents, with your mother. Or if you know, sometimes if you feel a little bit uncomfortable, if you don't have a good relationship with your mother, we'll get into that. But if you feel like I'm a bit shy, cousins, you know, your older cousins that might be within your. Tell them about who you're dating so that you can get a bit more insight what tribe this person is from, what type of family they come from. I think that is so important. You know, and in our tribe, if yeah. the relationship um, is like maybe seven times mm -hmm. or eight times, yeah. six times, yeah. it's lomo. You yeah. guys can marry one another. Yeah. But if from one, if from two to three to four, mm -hmm. no, it's still close. Yeah. So what mom's referring to is the um, length of the tribe. So they, mm -hmm. in our culture, we count like. Um, the tribes in terms of like relations so how close you are cousins from cousins from um if you have grandparents that are related anything like that so they count the tribes back mm -hmm. to have the furthest of relation that you may have with each other yeah, and so, six, seven if it's seven or eight yeah. it is okay yeah it's very but if it's three or four not 
it's too no, close. Maris. Yeah, it's too close. Too close. Yeah, yeah. All right, going on to the next question. What age did you get married? Uh, hmm. <laughs> My daughter, you guys are here lucky. Yeah. You guys can stay until 25, 26, 27. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, when I was 27, I already had three of you yeah. in Australia here. Yeah. So when I get married, I was, I was 17. Oh, I see. So I get my firstborn when I'm 18. So and it was so hard, but good thing I have my mother-in-law. Mm. So she was so good. She looked at me like her daughter. That's so good. So I really miss her. Was it quite common for like um, your in-laws to help you when you first get married? Yeah, like, of and course. Have your first child. Of course. If you have your first child, you never even do anything at home. You just sit down. They monitor you. They're looking after you until you get get back. So when you give birth, they cook for you, they look after your baby at night. That's so good. So in case you can't sleep over the baby because you still don't have You're knowledge. Learning. Yeah, You're exactly. learning. Exactly. So they will just let you feed in the baby, mm -hmm. breastfeeding, mm -hmm. if it's full, and that is it. They will let you make press. That's so And when the baby cry at night, they will just take the baby and sing in to baby until the baby go back to sleep. Yeah, it's good yeah. back home. I miss home. It's very, it's very good community. I think yeah. better than here these days. There's not that kind of community. Oh no, back home there's so much more community connection. People will look out for each other, but these days, unfortunately, there's a lot of jealousy, and mm. people don't be doing that these days. So that's one of the things that's sad. Oh, right, that's why I say, God, when are you gonna come for a visit? <laughs> because now the world is going upside down. No more love. Yeah, the love is going away. Yeah. All thing you see is jealousy and hatred. It's not good. It's not. We just keep to pray for God. We need love back. Exactly. We need to love one another. And when you think about it, it's so easy to love someone, and it's, it takes a lot of energy to hate. Do you know what I mean? When you think about loving and kindness, it's so easy to be kind, and it makes your heart feel good. But when you're always hating and you have so much hate in your heart, it's a lot of energy. You know, it takes a lot of energy to hate someone. And I'm thinking my daughter, mm. for somebody have history, you hit someone, mm. I think she do, they don't love themselves. When you don't love yourself, mm. all history is inside you. Preach. Because you don't love yourself. Preach. But if you love yourself, mm. how can you will hit somebody else? Facts. That's so Love true. yourself first. Mm -hmm. If you love yourself first, you can love someone. So easily. Nobody in this world can it can make you happy. No, but yourself. By yourself. Yeah. Learn to make yourself happy. happy. Yes. Learn to love yourself mm -hmm. so you can make it to somebody else. That's it. But if you don't have all these things, it's very hard. It's so hard. That's why it's easy, just jealousy. Yeah. With no just jealousy. Reason? Yeah. And hit somebody with no, no reason. reason? Yeah. And God doesn't like that. No. No. It's not good. So moral of that story would be to take time to learn to love yourself take time to put energy into yourself so exactly. that when you see somebody else doing well or you see someone else doing good you won't be you won't have any hatred towards that happy. you'll just you'll be happy for them mm -hmm. because you know you're doing good for yourself too exactly so no that was really good that's so true yeah, exactly. all right i'll ask another question what's your favorite thing about living in australia Oh, I can say, God love you, I'm blessed. I'm very blessed to be here because, yeah. you know, when I came to Australia, I came here like a young widow with three kids. Yeah. And the life is difficult there. Your, your dad get killed in war. Yeah. And then I was struggling in refugees camp. Mm. And thank God. So I'm here in Australia with you guys. I'm not worried again about what my kid gonna eat. Yeah. And war gonna happen again. I have to run away, and I have to thinking when you guys sick, even no Panadol. Mm. So I can say here, I'm really blessed to be here, mm. and I have to say thank God to brought me here in Australia. Aww. So it's a blessing country. It is. There's a lot yeah. of benefits, you it's know. A blessing and country. We have to appreciate Australia. People say this country is the blessing country. I so I don't know for other people, but for me, I can say I'm really blessed to be here mm. and I'm really yeah. lucky to be here. And I can say all my kids, you guys are lucky to be here as well. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so this is my heaven number two. Mm. So what can I will say? I only say, God, you give me today, thank you. Mm. 
and lovely country I'm in. That's so true. It's beautiful. I'm so happy <laughs> to be here. Likewise, me too. All right. Um, what's one of your biggest dreams? One of my biggest dream, mm -hmm. dream mm -hmm. for my kid. So my big dream, I can say, I'm not gonna willing to say that because the dream in God's hand. God know what I need in my heart. Mm. So God know everything. Yeah. What did Teresa Yap want, mm -hmm. and what did I don't need it? Yeah. So anything I want in my heart, God will give it to me. When God willing to give it to me. When it's time. When, when it's, it's time, time. Because the time of everything. There's time for everything. That's so true. And God have His all time. Our time and God time they are not the same. Mm. We may plan something here, and God is planning something different. That's so true. So my dream is is is, is in God's hands. Mm -hmm. When God is say, Teresa, this is for you, I can accept it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So God is great. As long as I'm breathing today, so that's all. So you can say? Yeah, that's all for today. All right, no worries. Yeah. Well, move on to the next question. What's your favorite thing about me? Since it's Mother's Day, ask a bit of questions. Oh wow, people, this young <laughs> friend here, friend of mine, which is my daughter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can say since she grow up, she always surprised me when I'm still in the bed with the tea and flour. But today is it's very special day for me. <laughs> seeing I came to Australia. Today is beyond that. Mm. So I don't know where I'm gonna have dinner today, I don't know. <laughs> it's a surprise for me. Yeah, it is a surprise. So I can say I'm blessed. When your kid do something good for you like that, you have to say thank God and give them more years or give them more days. They can continue to do that. So I'm so happy. So what you do to me, your children gonna do it to you when you get get married Amen. and you have kids. Mm -hmm. My love gonna go to you. So you gonna love your kid like the way I'm, I love you. Aww. And your kid gonna do everything you like it to you like the way you do things to me as well. Thank you. I re I, re I accept. Yeah, you better receiving it. This I will receive. I receive. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You know the parents are blessed, like the Bible says. Mm -hmm. You respect your parent, and you will get blessed. So. You get blessed everywhere. Even yeah. somebody is not related to you, so you, you do something good. Yeah, and it's happy. That is the bless. That is a blessing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the bless. And that's what people need to remember. You can receive your blessings in so many different ways. That you Any don't different even, corner that you don't even realize. You don't yeah. even know. And that's why it's so good to always be kind to others, treat others with respect. Even if you don't know who they are. My daughter always do good. Yeah. Always do good for the people. Mm -hmm. So, more you do good, more you receive good. That's right. More you doing bad, evil, more you receive evil. That's right. So, always do good, respect human, respect even anything. Mm -hmm. You have to respect and do good if you yeah. can do it. On to the next question. What's your favorite thing about being a mom? About being a mom is a great thing, you know? I can say it's really wonderful to be a mom. A mom having a lot of responsibility to do, mm. especially when you have kids, yes. you have to teach them right way. That's right. So it's definitely not easy. It's not easy when they are young, you have to look after them carefully. When they grow up, you have to talk to them. This one is not good. Don't go this way. Go this way. That's calling mom. Mom having a lot of work than dad. Dad can do so, but mom, I can say mom having a lot. Because mom eyes always with the kid. Mm. 
that maybe will be at work that can see big big thing but the mommy can see small small thing small thing that dad can see the mom can see that's right and with you as well mom has been both mom and dad for us so i can say she's been really 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 strong in that regard filling in the role for both parents so it's definitely not easy like you said but it's always harder for the mothers because like mom said they see the little things that fathers may not see but yeah moving on to the next question and when you're single you have to be strong because now i have both of them i am a mom i am a dad mm. so i have to be strong and say thank you lord to make me strong mm. i can handle all these things otherwise if you are not strong you can end up somewhere that's true it becomes very difficult and sometimes yeah. people like it's hard if you don't have support or you don't have that strength within you you know it can be really difficult you can you know suffer with mental health because of it you know you can think of other things that aren't good things simply because of your hardship so really it's it's important that we say thanks back to those people who for example my mom single mothers who do a lot you know and sometimes don't get the recognition they deserve so yeah that's very important guys thank you mommy thank, thank you you know you make me strong now the more you say that, the more I'm getting strong <laughs> and I can do more work. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Okay guys, so I'm going to finish this up so I can finish off her eye makeup and then we can get going because our time is running. But this is the last question I've got here and it's a bit of a crazy one but what would you do if you had one million dollars? Oh. Do you mean if I win it or if somebody give it to me? Did you win some money or I what wish. happened? I wish. Oh wow, look <laughs> my daughter, the money is not everything I can say. So if God give them to me, only I can say I can still help like the way God give them to me. Yeah, that's right. There is suffering people out here even in Australia. Mm. So I can share money with people I they need. Mm -hmm. I can share this money with them. Yeah, that's I so can't true. just keep them for myself. Otherwise, that. it will be no blessing for me. Exactly. Maybe God give them to me for reason. Mm -hmm. So if the God give give that money for me for reason, mm -hmm. I can't keep them for myself. We share it. So mm -hmm. maybe God said, "This is for you. Mm -hmm. I need to see what are you gonna do with this." So if there is some people there in need, why not? That's it. Mm -hmm. I agree. I'll share that money as well. Yeah. Obviously, there's things of your heart that you might want it here and there. Of course. Go for it. But overall, you receive more blessings when you give, I think. Exactly. Yeah. You give this hand and God will give you this hand. Yeah. So always, if you give, don't thinking and don't look back. Oh, I give that away. I should keep it. No. Mm -hmm. You give it, you have give to save. Give heart. it with, with your whole heart mm -hmm. and don't thinking about it. Yeah. So God will give it to you with another hand. Ten times forward. Yeah. yeah. So guys, I'm going to finish off mom's makeup and then we're going to come back for our final little clips and say goodbye, but I'll be back in two ticks. All right, guys, so I've just finished mom's, the rest of mom's makeup off camera because of time, but how beautiful does she look? Look at me. Yeah. Princess. Mm. Wow. Pawai princess. Nyan Pawai. Aywa. This beautiful. She looks Thank you amazing. So much. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I hope you're ready for the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're about to have a wonderful good night guys at dinner but if you've watched until the end of this video thank you so much for joining us if you'd like to see more of my mom please comment down below I'd be more than happy to do some more videos with her and um, guys yeah please like comment subscribe and before we end the video I've got a little surprise